transformer is a static device which transfer power from one electrical circuit to another electrical circuit without change in frequency transformer operates on the principle of electromagnetic induction construction and working of transformer an elementary transformer consists of a soft iron or silicon steel core and two windings placed on it the winding connected to the supply is called primary the winding connected to the load is called secondary secondary winding the primary winding is having n1 number of turns while the secondary winding has n2 number of turns when the primary winding is connected to an ac supply current flows through it this current produces an alternating flux phi in the core since the flux is alternating and it links with the secondary winding and also induces an emf emf means electromotive force in the secondary winding according to the faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction when the load is connected to the secondary winding the induced emf in the secondary winding delivers the current to the external load even though there is no electrical contact between the two windings an electrical energy gets transferred from primary to secondary transformer must not be connected to dc source if the primary winding of transformer is connected to dc supply the flux produced is constant because it will not vary and constant due to the dc supply dc supply voltage and therefore the change in flux d5 by dt is zero hence no emf will be induced in the secondary winding the transformer cannot lowering or rising the dc voltage so the winding of the transformer will burn types of transformers the classification of transformer based on the arrangement of core and the winding are classified into three main types first one core type second one shell type third one berry type core type of transformer it has a single magnetic circuit the core is a rectangular having two limbs the winding encircles the core the coils used are of cylindrical type the coils are wound in helical layers and are insulated from each other by paper or mica both the coils are placed on the both limbs core is made up of large number of thin laminations windings are uniformly distributed over two limbs the natural coring is more effective shell type of transformer it has a double magnetic circuit the core has three limbs both the windings are placed in center limb the core encircles most part of the windings the coils used are generally multi layer disc type or 
sandwich type coils as the windings are surrounded by the core the natural cooling does not exist Coming to the last one, Berry type transformer. It has a distributed magnet circuit. The number of independent magnet circuits are more than two. The construction of Berry type transformer is look like a spokes of a wheel. Is a shown in figure. Generally, the transformers are tightly fitted steel sheet metal tanks the tanks are constructed of specified high quality steel plate cuts formed and welded into the rigid structures comparison of core type and shell type transformers first one core type transformer winding and circles the core shell type transformer the core encircles the most part of the winding. Core type transformer. It has single band circuit. Shell type transformer has double band circuit. Core type transformer has two limbs, whereas shell type transformer has three limbs. In core type transformer, we will use cylindrical coils are used, whereas in shell type transformer, the multi layer disc type or sandwich type coils are used. In core type transformer, the windings are uniformly distributed, whereas in shell type transformer, in core type transformer, since the windings are uniformly distributed, natural cooling can be effective. In case of shell type transformer, the natural cooling does not exist as the windings are surrounded by the core. EMF equation. Let n1 equals to number of turns in the primary and n2 equals to number of turns in secondary. Phi m is the maximum flux in the core in Weber's, which is equal to Bm into A, where Bm is called flux maximum flux density and A equals to area of cross section and F equals to frequency of AC input in hedges. Since the given waveform is an sensor waveform, alternative voltage automatically alternative flux will be produced the flux increases from zero value to maximum value phi m in first quarter of cycle that is 1 by 4 f seconds since the time period is t we can consider time time taken to complete full cycle is 1 by f seconds time taken to complete quarter cycle is 1 by 4 f seconds average rate of flux is equals to d phi by dt equals to phi m by d phi m is a change in flux when dt is a change in time which is equals to 1 by 4 f which is equals to 4 f phi m weber per second r volts the rate of change of flux per turn means induced emf in volts average emf per turn equals to 4 f phi m volts since flux varies sinusoidally, then the RMS value of induced waveform is obtained by multiplying the average value with form factor. Since form factor for a sinusoidal waveform is 1.11, which is equal to RMS value by average value, RMS value equals to 1.11 multiplied by 4F by M, which is equal to 4.44. F by M 
volts now the rms value of induced emf in the primary equals to 4.44 fn1 into pi m similarly the average EM. rms value of induced emf in secondary equals to e2 equals to 4.44 fn2 bm into a from equations 1 and 2 e1 by e2 equals to e1 by e2 equals to n1 by n2 r e1 by n1 equals to e2 by n2 equals to 4.44 f by m it means emf per turn is the same in both primary and secondary voltage transformation ratio voltage transformation ratio is a ratio of secondary voltage to the primary voltage e2 by e1 which equals to n2 by n1 equals to k the constant k is called voltage transformation ratio if n2 is greater than n1 that is k greater than 1 then transformer is step of transformer if n2 less than n1 that is k less than 1 then the transformer is called step down transformer if n2 equals to n1 that is k equals to 1 then the transformer is called isolation transformer losses and efficiency of a transformer losses in a transformer the power loss in a transformer are two types core loss or iron loss second one is copper loss these losses are appear in the transfer appear in the form of heat and produces an increase in temperature and a drop in the efficiency first one core loss or iron loss this consists of hysteresis and decurrent losses and occur in the core due to alternating flux this can be determined by open circuit test hysteresis loss equals to kh f bm power 1.6 watts per meter cube a decurrent losses equals to ke f square bm square t square v watts per meter cube where kh is hysteresis constant f is the frequency bm is a maximum flux density ke is a decurrent coefficient f is the frequency bm is the maximum flux density and T is the thickness of the lamination. Both hysteresis and eddy current losses depends on maximum flux density and supply frequency. Hysteresis means the total iron losses is equal to hysteresis losses plus eddy current losses, which are called constant losses. Hysteresis loss can be minimized by using steel with high silicon content whereas a decurrent losses can be minimized by using thin laminations copper loss these losses occur in the both primary and secondary windings due to their ohmic resistance these can be determined by short circuit test total copper loss equals to i1 square r1 plus i2 square r2 which is equals to i1 square r01 r, r i2 square i2 dash i2 square i2 square r02 i1 i1 square r01 r i2 square r02 the copper loss vary as the square of the current total loss is equal to constant losses plus variable losses efficiency of a transformer
efficiency of a transformer efficiency of a transformer of a given load and power factor can be defined as the output power of a transformer divided by its input power of the transformer where both the quantities are expressed in watts efficiency equals to output power by input power input power we can write it as output plus losses output power equals to v2 i2 cos y2 whereas losses are equals to i1 square r1 is the primary copper loss i2 square r2 is the secondary copper loss and iron loss since the transformer has very high efficiency it is possible to calculate efficiency of the transformer to a greater accuracy by expressing it in efficiency equals to output by input as a input minus losses by input this is equals to 1 minus losses by input efficiency equals to 1 minus i1 square r1 plus i2 square r2 by losses divided by v1 i1 cos v1 condition for maximum efficiency Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share and comment if you like.